information tonight, the Mobile City Council has again held over a vote that could bring passenger rail service back to the port city. With the deadline just around the corner, the delay could cost millions in matching federal grant money. As NBC 15's James Gordon explains, Amtrak says it has a plan to get everyone on board. And that's about having the right schedule, but right now it's about tourism, nostalgia, and spending taxpayer money. Mobile City Council wants more time to look at the financials, but time is running out with a February 5th deadline just a week away. We appreciate that the Mobile City Council is taking this very seriously, especially when there's taxpayer money involved. And so their hesitation to wait uh, to allocate funding based on the decision of the state or the county uh, is not unusual. Uh, what we hope is that when the Mobile City Council does sign the letter of intent next week, we can then leverage the local support by getting infrastructure funding from the state of Alabama. Mobile needs to come up with $3 million over three years to secure matching federal grant money if the city wants to be a part of Amtrak's Gulf Coast route from New Orleans to Mobile. At one point, we were trying to serve Mobile from Miami. And in all those cases, the train wasn't even running daily. It's a route Mobile has been a part of in the past. Amtrak officials say this time rail service will be different and more accessible. By running twice a day reliably, seven days a week, that's very different than what's been in this market before. It allows both Mobile people and New Orleans people to get back and forth in the same day. You couldn't do that with the old service. Louisiana and Mississippi have both committed to this project. If Mobile doesn't, well, this project could be in jeopardy. In Mobile, James Gordon, NBC 15 News.